What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we did get new Evos in the game. Make sure to smash the like button before we start the video. Let's get 100 likes in the video. We're going to do some MT giveaways on Twitter. And yes, the sub will be greatly appreciated. Please drop the sub. Two to, two to five videos every single day. So yes, today we got new Evos. We're going to run them off. Also, we are selling MT, so if you guys do want MT, make sure you hit me up. I have MT on Xbox and PS4. But yes, guys, today we have some new Evo cards, and we are going to read them off to you guys because, honestly, the only Evo I have out of this whole entire thing is J.R. Smith, and J.R. Smith is a god as it is. I can't even imagine how he is with 99 defense with 98 speed. And I just can't believe it. These stats are insane as it is. So now he's going to get an Evo and become one of the best shooting guards slash point guards in the game. So JR Smith, man, um, there is like low-key a market crash going on right now. You guys should be able to snipe. You should check out my video and whatnot. But yeah, man, there's a lot going on. We're going to read off the Evo cards that do have some new Evo. So here we go, man. We're going to start off with Yi Jillian, bro. I don't know how to say his name, but he does Evo out to an Opal. So as you guys can see, man, he is a 7-foot power forward, small forward. He's a very good card. Hopefully his speed does get increased. Wow, he is a 90 speed. So his speed's probably going to get increased. Very good stats. Next up, bro, we got Evo Tracy McGrady glitch, bro. This is crazy. I didn't think this card could become even better than it was. But yeah, here it is. Glitched Tracy McGrady, man. This card is insane. Literally insane. So hopefully you guys can go off get this card he's probably gonna rise as it is right now you should make a lot of mt off these cards right this second because they're gonna rise within the first couple hours because more people are gonna try to get them evo them and then make more mt so if i were you you can make a lot of mt off these evos next up we got darius miles like for instance man jr smith was going for like 180 for a while now he's at 230k so he's definitely up a lot because of his evo this is why you guys should sell these cards and then get them back and then evo them like within a couple days make a lot of mt that way and then we got there or you could just grind them out right now and try to be one of the first to get them up and make a lot of mt off of it next up darius miles evo this card is pretty solid as well man 89 three point shot 92 mid range he's gonna get evo to an opal becoming one of the best cards in the game very good card as it is a lot of people use him as a pink diamond i'm guessing his defense does go up you should see his price uh, go up a little bit and then drop as the week goes on because more people, there's going to be a higher demand for these Evos in the beginning. And then they're just going to drop like the other Evos, man. The first couple of days, they go up a lot and whatnot. But you should definitely sell these cards now if you're not planning on Evoing them. Um, next up, man, Dean Wade the Goat gets an Evo probably to a diamond. Um, I forgot. It's Dean Wade, not Dwayne Wade. But yes, Dean Wade, man, did just get a new card. Here it is. He is evoable, probably to a diamond. This card is insane as it is. If you guys didn't check out my gameplay on Dean Wade, it's an insane Hidden Galaxy Oval gameplay. I'm just shocked that this card is that good as an Amethyst. So this card probably goes up to a diamond. You should probably sell him. He's up a lot of MT, I believe. Let's check out his price. Yeah, man, he's up a lot of MT. So if I were you, man, if you're one of those people that did stack up on Dean Wade's while you could have, here it is. Here's your chance to make a lot of profit. A lot of amethyst and diamonds are going to go up in value because of these new Evos. Next card we have is uh, glitched Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace goes up to an opal. I knew he was due for an Evo. This card is pretty decent as it is. His price is almost at 100,000 MT. If you're one of the first people to Evo up this card, man, you're going to make a lot of MT. Um, does he go back up to a bid? Probably not. He'll probably stay around 90k, but he was a lot cheaper earlier today. So Ben Wallace is up a lot. Next up, we got Brent Barry. Um, so this is pretty interesting as well. This card probably does go to a pink diamond. I heard this Evo is very easy to get, so you can make a lot of MT off this card as well. 
He's probably like 6K. He probably was like 2K not too long ago. As you can see, a lot of people are posting him up because there is a high demand for these Evos. People are trying to complete them. Next up, man, get Opal Dikembe Masumbo. You can make a lot of MT off this card as well. Here we go, 286,000 MT. I can only imagine what his Evo is. It probably has something to do with like plus 30, a three-point shot. That's my guess. Um, also, probably his, I don't know, honestly, maybe defensively a little bit better. Pretty solid overall, this card, though, defensive-wise. So we shall see what they do give him. He does have a 99 block out as it is. So, yeah, that's him. Next up, we got Coutinho Mobley. Um, this card was a pretty good budget baller. Um, what's it called? He was a good investment way back in the day. If you guys invested him, like, for 2K, he's now up to around 7,000 MT. So you can make a lot of MT off this. There we go. We got a snipe right there. He's going for around 7,500. We're going to make 2K off that snipe real quick. Um, card's pretty good. 6'4", shooting guard, small forward. He is a little small, but you should be able to make a lot of MT off these cards. Next up, uh, we got Pink Diamond Lance Stevenson. That is hype in the chat, man. If you guys don't know, Amethyst Lance Stevenson was a god. Now we got the Pink Diamond Evo, probably to an Opal Lance Stevenson. This card is going... Pink Diamond Lance, bro, is amazing, man. Um... 95 steel 40 block i mean like this card is insane as it is and he's gonna be evilable to an opal i might have to pick this card up and try to evil him out check out the stats for you guys because bro lance stevenson is amazing bro i like i love lance stevenson in this game for 50k bro i'm buying that i'm gonna try to evil him out i'm gonna show you the requirements right now in this video because bro lance stevenson galaxy opal is freaking nice bro i'm telling you right now this card's gonna be a beast Here's the requirements. 900 points, 300 assists, 100 steals. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot for Galaxy Opal Lance Stevenson. But here it is. Um, his stats go up a lot, man. Let me tell you. Wow, these are insane stats. Hall of Fame, Quick Draw, Hall of Fame, Range Extender, Hall of Fame, Interceptor, 96 speed, 95 speed. Oh, my God. His block goes up to an 84. Interior defense, free throw, post hook, post. Wow, this car becomes a god. So he gets a 95 three-pointer as well. This card is amazing. He's a point guard, shooting guard. His stats are incredible. If you're one of the first people to Evo him out, let me know, man. I'm trying to get some gameplay. Then we got Pink Diamond, Gerald Green. We got Kevin Love. There's a lot going on in this. So Pink Diamond, Gerald Green. Here we go. Another card that's going to be very OP, man. If you guys don't know, Double G is insane as it is. I'm guessing his defense goes up a lot. If you guys have Double G, man, you're going to make a lot of MT. Whoever had these Evo cards... Sell them now if you don't plan them on evoing because you're going to make a lot of MT. Because if you invested in Gerald Green at like 15K, um, you're going to make a lot of MT off his Evo card. Just the fact that he has an Evo card is going to make him rise that much. So Gerald Green, definitely another good Evo that did rise around 20,000 MT. We also got Kevin Love, Galaxy Opal. That is a Evo card as well. I mean, not an Evo. He just did get an Evo card. And honestly, I think he was due for it. Kevin Love is always good. He does have a 99 3 one shot with a, with a shoe. His defense is definitely due for an upgrade and maybe his speed a little bit. This card isn't too bad. Kevin Love should definitely be better, man. Kevin Love was amazing back in the day. I don't know why he's a Cav. He should be a Timberwolf. But this card, very good card, man. Um, I think if he does get an Evo card, he's definitely one of the best power forwards in the game. Which he did get an Evo card. So he should be a lot better, a lot more usable. And there's not a lot of him on the auction. So... I might have to pick one up. Is that 99K I see down there? Honestly, bro, I'm going to take the bet. I'm going to just risk it all. I'm going to throw him up there for 100,000 bid. I think people might want to Evo this card out. He could be a god opal for around 200K. So we're going to take the bet. We're going to throw him up. And next up, we got Tony Parker Galaxy Oval as the last uh, opal, which is a token reward. So I did not get him. I do have 1, 1,100 tokens, but... Here we go, man. Galaxy Oval Tony Parker. Very good as it is. He only has 20 Hall of Fame badges, though. 23 Hall of Fame badges. He's definitely going to be a lot better. I think his defense gets raised. His speed's already a 99, so that's pretty sick. Maybe his driving dunk goes to an 80. His three-point shot maybe gets raised a little bit. Post-fade maybe a little bit. But yeah, these cards are actually pretty damn good. Um, other than that, man, that's all we got for the video. So now how are you going to make MT off these? It's simple. Um... You make MT easily off these Evo cards by simply selling them in the beginning if you're not going to Evo these. If you have any of these new Evo cards, as you can see in this video, all their prices have rise a lot. So they did go up a lot. 
And you guys can make a lot of MT by just simply selling them right this second. And also pick up Paul George while he's cheap. He's going to rise a lot. So pretty much overall, man, sell if you're not playing on Evo them right now. And if you don't, they're just going to continue to drop. That's really all we got for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Drop the sub. It would be greatly appreciated. Have a good one, guys. Peace.